In this video, we'll balance the equation Ca plus H3PO4 gives us this calcium phosphate and this hydrogen gas here. So let's add the atoms up on both sides. We have one calcium, three hydrogens, and then I have a PO4 here. And then over here, I have the PO4. It's the phosphate ion as well. So I could just say I have one PO4, and that'll make it a lot easier when we go to balance. We have three calciums here, two hydrogens, and then the PO4, I have two of them. So that makes it kind of easy to fix. Why don't we take and just put a two in front of the H3PO4. So three times two, that equals six. So we have six hydrogens, but this two applies to everything. So we have two of these PO4. So times two, that equals two. So we fixed the PO4. Now to fix the hydrogen, we could put a three here because two times three, That'd give us six. Don't know what's happening to my pen. And then for the calcium, we need three calciums. We put a coefficient of three there, one times three. That equals three. And now this equation is balanced. So the trick is when you have PO4 or an SO4 on each side of the equation, you can treat it as one thing, and that makes the balancing very quick. You could also count up the individual atoms. You'd end up with the same coefficients. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for Ca plus H3PO4, and thanks for watching.